Okay, so let me show you guys a fantastic way to connect Stammer to a Google Doc. So I have this Google Doc with this fake, you know, data populated for me by ChatGPT. And what I can do in order to make this connectable to Stammer is I can go to File, and then I will go to Share, and then click on Publish to the Web. Now, when I do that, it's going to give me this link, right, that I can use. I'm going to copy that link. And when you go back in here, you're going to see this thing of stop publishing other options here. Um, make sure you check by default, automatically republish when changes are made, as long as you want that. And that means that anything you change inside this document will automatically be updated at this URL. So now I've got this copied. Okay, let's do that. And we're good. We can click X. Now I'm going to visit this URL just to show you that this actually becomes scrapable HTML. So now what you can do is actually just take this URL and you can actually input it into the web scraper. And remember, very soon also, the web scraper is going to gain the functionality to where every 24 hours it can actually rescrape pages. So now you can keep the data updated with what you're writing in your Google Doc, for example. But that is it. Just a quick tutorial that we wanted to create for you guys. So let us know if you have any uh, questions about this. Keep in mind also you can do this with you know any type of uh, document that supports publishing to the web in most cases. For example, Notion, you can do the exact same thing. Publish a Notion document to the, uh, the web and then put that URL inside the scraper and it'll keep it up to date. We will probably also create a tutorial video for that. But uh, yeah, reach out to us if you have any questions.